Good morning, guys. Welcome to... Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's assembly on Wednesday, 17th of June. We've got a very, very special assembly because we've got quite a few year 10s joining us from the academy today. I'm going to go ahead and hand over to them so you can see them waving, cheering, smiling about being in the academy. So I'm going to hand over to Mr. Waters' class. Over to you, Mr. Waters. Hello, good morning, everyone from uh, 113. We have a full classroom of eight students. Uh, if you go, go on a bit closer, please, guys, please wave. I'm looking at the enthusiasm from my bunch. Not one of them waves. Thank you all. <laughs> Fantastic. Over to Mr. Sparks. Mr. Sparks, go for it. Show us the joy. Was that a class of eight? I can top that, Mr. Walls. We've got a class of nine here. Big wave from the class. Come on, guys. Lack of wave, right? I'm spinning the camera. Big wave, guys. Oh, they're all hiding. They're all looking hey, the wrong way. Oh, wave for me, then. Miss Collins. There we go. Nine in here, though, Miss. Bad. Miss Collier, over to you. Morning, everyone. I have a class of seven. Um, all young men with me this morning. Jensen's waving. A few, few happy smiles here. Thank you very much. But we're doing well. Thank you very much. Over to you, Miss Mush. Show off your class. This is my class here of lovely young people. I have three, six, eight. Eight of them, they're surprised I can count, especially Callum, he's really impressed with me today. Come on, guys, say hello. Ah, oh, that's better. Thank you, Jack, for that. We are all well. Thank you, Miss Luther. Miss, 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 can we do that again? Because we had a lo lovely shot of the ceiling. Um, just till it down so we can see those lovely individuals as well. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Miss, Miss, say something. Say something. And guys, we're yeah. back in the room. There you go. So much love in the building from the year 10s that are on site today. Uh, thank you so much, year 10s, for being on site. Thank you for being a wonderful set of students, following all of the rules that we've gone ahead and put into place to make sure that your safe journey back into the academy is actually safe. So well done, guys. Socially distance has been on point. If I was to classify it as a grade, it would be an A star at this point in time. There you go. I've already spoken to you about how amazing you are, and I'm going to hand over to the rest of the school for the wonderful assembly. So guys, we've been talking about sustainability this week, and my sustainability fun fact of the day, wait for it, wait for it, I've got a list of the biggest polluters in the world. You might be shocked with a few of them. So the first biggest polluter is China, guys. So they've got... And guys, I need to get a bit emotional about this. 10,357 metric tons of carbon dioxide being produced by their country, followed by the United States, India, Russia and Japan. We pretty much are winning this game of sustainability and hopefully through the trips and tricks that we're going to be doing this week, we'll be probably the most sustainable country in the world at some point in time. Quite not there, not quite there yet, but we'll get there. My sustainability trade for this week is, um, for those of you that know me and hear about my violin journey to work, which is 46.8 miles um, from Surrey all the way here, loads of uh, carbon emissions being produced by myself because I'm driving. But to make up for that, what I will be doing from now on is making sure I walk to the supermarket. Yes, guys, I am walking. So who knows? I could be very thin by the end of it. Um, so I'm going to walk to the supermarket to pick up my weekly shop. Um, that's going to be quite heavy as well. So it's almost going to be like a workout. But what will be happening is I'll be reducing my carbon emissions every single week because I'm going to take off that journey completely. I'm not going to be using my car at all. Uh, and uh, guys, what I'll be doing in addition to that is making sure that I'm going to buy seasonal produce to reduce the carbon emissions. So I'm not having strawberries for flown in from Spain. If I want strawberries, I'll go to uh, Garson's Farm. Anyone that knows Surrey will know Garson's Farm. Strawberry picking season. Uh, I'm not promoting it at all, but that's something that I'll be doing. Now, guys, I'm going to go ahead uh, and hand over to Miss Doyle. That's going to go ahead and talk about her sustainability trade. I can't wait for it. I, I heard it's going to be epic, Miss. Is that correct? Oh, Fantastic. Yeah, okay. Over to Miss Doyle. Good morning, everyone. So I'm going to start with my sustainability trade. And I brought a little prop for me today. So this is my water bottle. And I am going to pledge to make sure that I only drink 
water from this and not buy any drinks when I'm out. So not buying any plastic bottles or plastic cans and just using this. So there's wonderful water fountains all around school that I can fill it up with. And if I'm going out anywhere, make sure that I remember to fill it up and bring it with me. So that is my sustainability trait. And I really recommend everyone else doing something really similar. And um, it wouldn't be an assembly with me without a little maths challenge or a maths fact. So today I'm going to give you a little maths riddle. So I am thinking of two numbers. When I add them, the answer is a two digit number. When I multiply them, the answer is a one digit number. What are my numbers? So I'm gonna say that again. I'm thinking of two numbers. When I add them, the answer is a two digit number. When I multiply them, the answer is a one digit number. What are my numbers? And as always, if you want to email me through those answers, jdoyle at bexleyhouthacademy.org. I can't wait to see who the fastest person was. And the last thing for me is the birthday shout out. So four birthdays today. So happy birthday to Sophie in year nine. Happy 14th birthday. Happy birthday to Harry in year 11, 16 today. Happy birthday, Sade in year 12, 17 today. And happy birthday to Thomas in year 10 uh sorry in year seven who is 12 today so happy birthday to all of you hope you're having a wonderful day and i'm now going to hand over to miss mush good morning everybody um today i am going to read you a poem by robert frost it's a poem to help you think about the choices that you will be making as we you know go across to year 11 um and those of us who are going to go to year 13, those of us coming to year seven, what roads shall you travel on? It's called The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. At times we have to take decisions, and that, you know, that's where the, the poem ends. But my point is we have to make decisions that are not so popular and we travel down a road that's not taken by many. Think about that poem. It is available on the internet, Robert Frost, uh, The Road Not Taken. And to close, I'm going to say to you, please be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of you. You matter. Every one of you matters. I'm also going to say wash your hands all the time. Two meter distance. Be safe. Be kind and be happy. Have a fantastic day.